protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com I'm Millie Weaver, and I will be taking you guys through the news tonight. Well, the young French president, Emmanuel Macron, has been acting a bit strange these days. He apparently said, I will govern France like a Roman god. I mean, this is pretty crazy. You know, the establishment media likes to try and say that Trump has lost his marbles and that he's not capable of being the president. Well, why don't we hear any criticism criticism over Emmanuel Macron, who says he will govern like a Roman god, the Roman god of Jupiter, to be specific, who was the Roman king of the gods. So the god of gods. This guy thinks he's a god. It's pretty insane. Apparently, he summoned over 900 politicians from either side of the French parliament to all come down for a rare Congress where he threatened to overrule lawmakers with a referendum if they tried to frustra frustrate the reforms he wished to impose on the legislature. So he's trying to rule with an iron fist. He's saying, do what I say or face the consequences. Apparently, there was even the traditional president's Bastille Day press conference, and Emmanuel Macron said that his thoughts are too complex for journalists and did not participate in that. I mean, this is pretty insane. Yet you see this, un this, um, this double standard where the mainstream media will constantly be criticizing Trump over saying ridiculous things when he's not even saying he's a god, like this French president. Well, this reminds me of the MSNBC host, Mika Brzezinski, when she said that it's the media's job to control what people think, almost like these mainstream media organizations think that they're these gods that rule over us and should control what we think and what we do. Well, that is what I'm about to get to you guys about right now. CNN has been rocked by backlash after CNN was really upset about a GIF that this GIF creator created and Trump had retweeted it. Well, if you don't know about this GIF, it was the GIF where Trump, when he was in his WWE days, body slams a person while somebody superimposed the CNN logo over that person and Trump had retweeted that GIF. CNN was very upset about it. And so what did they do? On 4th of July, they posted a statement saying that they had found the identity of the gift creator and that they had talked to the gift creator and forcefully made him issue an apology and almost threatened that they were going to release his personal information out there on the on the media so everyone could see him ridicule him maybe even threaten him if he didn't go along with issuing an apology and deleting his racist posts i mean the the tweets are insane so what happens is Twitter, the Twitter community goes wild. Of course, Twitter is not going to put up with that. So what did they do? They went ahead and a tidal wave of memes have flourished on Twitter. I mean, let's take a look at some of these memes here. There are some amazing memes out there on the Internet. But one of the things that's interesting here is this guy, his name, his uh, Twitter handle name is Han Beep whole solo. I'm not going to say it. Okay, guys. But this is the name of this person. He's just a random person out there on the internet like anyone else. So it just really kind of goes to show that CNN actually thinks that they can tell random people on the internet to scare them almost into silence. And this happened on July 4th of all days. CNN did issue a statement and they even said that CNN reserves the right to publish his identity should any of that change. So if the guy then decides to post something on his on his Twitter page that they think is racist, well, at the drop of a dime, they could go ahead and release his personal information, which really and truly, I don't think I'd really even care if it were my personal information because what's 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 anyone going to do? But I understand that people do make death threats on the internet. And if you don't want to be a public figure, we don't know if this guy has a job. We don't know what his situation is with his his uh, kids or his family. So I can understand why, you know, that's a big deal. Now, CNN's Andrew 
Kaczynski said this on Twitter. He said this apology came after CNN identified and reached out to Han B. Paul Solo. So first he claims that the apology was after he reached out to this gift creator. Then after Julian Assange goes out and starts and everyone else on Twitter, I mean, it was a tidal wave of people calling out CNN saying that they were the Carly own news network or should they be the criminal news network? Uh, Julian Assange claims that they had actually committed a crime. Some of them, which could be felonies. We're talking about federal crimes here. He says that um, one of these things is uh, a crime violating section 135.60 of the New York criminal code for coercion. So, I mean, I don't know about you, but if I were this guy, I'd be thinking about getting an attorney, possibly going after CNN for violating my rights. Well, of course, what happens after this? People go crazy with memes of Trump just destroying CNN, and they are hilarious. There's also memes out there of, you know, depicting CNN looking like a crazy tyrannical dictator or a tank, at, you know, mowing down somebody at Tiananmen Square. And so what happens? This meme, you know, this, this meme uh, war game just completely flourishes. So now what happens? Alex Jones has just announced a $20,000 prize game called C the Great CNN Meme War. And if you win this contest, you could win uh, $20,000 in prizes. So get out there, make those memes. They are hilarious. Some of them are even actually worse. So I can see CNN just being so triggered and so upset over these memes. You thought you were going to shut us down, CNN? Well, all you've done is you've created now hundreds and probably even very soon thousands and thousands of GIFs, memes of yourselves getting destroyed by Trump. <laughs> and some of them, are, you know, are of CNN getting destroyed by Keck as well. So go ahead, guys. Make sure you uh, submit your your gifts to uh, CNN at Infowars.com. Make sure you include Infowars.com on the picture within the frame of your GIF or your meme in order to win. And go ahead and share those on social media as well and hashtag CNN Meme War. That's the hashtag. Just, uh, just remember that so that you can actually go on if you don't even want to necessarily compete or you're not necessarily somebody who creates gifts or creates memes. Just remember that, um, CNN meme war, meme war, hashtag. So you can find them on Twitter because they're pretty entertaining. Well now, apparently Kathy Griffin, now we remember when she held up that head, the fake severed head of Donald Trump, what she did, I don't, I feel like what she did is just completely kind of way farther out there than any of these little silly memes because it was so graphic and almost looked real to where we even had Baron Trump being traumatized. Well, apparently Secret Service agents had actually interviewed Kathy Griffin for over an hour, according to the New York Magazine and Huffington Post contributing writer Ashar Ali. And apparently Mike, Governor Mike Huckabee came out saying that these Secret Service agents apparently needed to detox after only an hour with Kathy Griffin. They just couldn't handle her. They're just like, oh, I need to detox. And he's the one who originally referred to CNN as the Carly Own News Network and says, make fun of them with a humorous gif and they will threaten you on 4th of July, no less. Now... I want to get to something that's a little bit more serious than all of this is uh, dick dictatorial and crazed power hungry that the mainstream media is. We also need to talk about the dictators out there, such as Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Un has been going really crazy. We already know the guy's a nut, but he's going too far. Now, North Korea had just tested an ICBM, an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of striking Alaska. So friends and family in Alaska, you know, they could actually be at risk for a nuclear strike from Kim Jong-un. And this guy is saying that he's described this ICBM as a gift to American 
bastards. That is what he said. Okay. And what's scary about this is that we actually kind of underestimated the United States, the Pentagon underestimated their missile capabilities. Now, they actually released photos. So let's pull up some of this article here because I want to show you guys these photos. These photos are so creepy. Okay. At first, I was like, is this real? Well, I don't know. I guess I've never seen an ICBM being launched, but they look pretty real to me. And this is from the test launch. Now, apparently this missile flew off, you know, it, it jettisoned into the sky and flew off and landed in Japanese waters in the Sea of Japan. And it's just really creepy to think that this could be real. This is like something around the corner. And on Tuesday, the Russian Defense Min Ministry actually came out saying that it was an intermediate range missile, an IRBM. So Japan's or Russia is trying to claim that it's not an ICBM, that it is an IRBM, which is a missile that cannot go as far. But many other sources and all the other sources out there, including our own Pent um, Pentagon, is saying that it is an ICBM. Now, on Tuesday, Moscow and Beijing called on North Korea to freeze its nuclear missile programs. And at the same time, they urged the U.S. and South Korea to cease any type of war gaming in the region. Well, that's very unlikely to happen. And even as it says here, it says, despite the warnings, the U.S. and South Korea have continued and they've um, launched surface to surface tactile missiles into neutral waters. So we're escalating because, you know, North Korea keeps making these threats, but at the same time, North Korea is getting more and more upset about our presence there. But at the same time, the guy's a nut. And what are we gonna do? Are we gonna allow South Korea to just be on their own and, and Japan to just be on their own? Are we gonna allow these people to literally just get nuked and fried? That's, that's the moral dilemma we're at here. Now, apparently J Japan is preparing. They are holding nationwide evacuation drills where they're actually having, I mean, could you imagine if we were having nationwide alarms go off? Everybody, okay, run on, hide underground, prepare for a nuclear attack. That's how real it is for the citizens of Japan. They're preparing. And it says that the people are all having to run into an underground mall in preparation for a potential nuclear strike, which North Korea has made threats against them over and over and over again. And this is, is scheduled to occur, you know, this month. This is crazy. Now we've heard a little bit about even how um, Hawaii could even be a threat for a target as well from North Korea. But what's interesting here is that there was a poll on Twitter and 65% of Trump supporters said that they would back a military strike on North Korea. Now, what's interesting about this is it had 30,000 votes in total and 35% said no. The rest said yes. 65% said yes. What's interesting here, though, is that this is a significantly higher percentage of people saying yes than we saw with Syria and, and the support for a missile strike in Syria. Now, people didn't think that uh, Syria, you know, was justification for a missile strike, but it seems that people kind of understand that what's going on with North Korea and Kim Jong-un is very, very serious. Now, I, I'm gonna touch on this story briefly, but this is uh, Vatican cops have allegedly busted a drug-fueled gay orgy at the home of a cardinal's aide, according to an explosive new report. This is crazy, guys. This is absolutely crazy, because this was just not too long after a high-ranking Vatican cardinal was charged with sex offenses that had apparently taken place a long time ago. So now we're seeing this, this bust on a drug-fueled gay orgy inside the Vatican says the Holy Father is enraged since the home inhabited by Cardinal Francesco Coco Palmerio, secretary, belongs to the Vatican's congregation for the doctrine of faith, the arm charged with tackling sexual abuse, clerical sexual abuse, 
So the group that's supposed to be tackling clerical sexual abuse is engaging in the gay orgy. That might be why there's a problem right now within the Vatican and the Catholic Church with all these things. It says the police found the men getting high and getting it on inside this and that the neighbors had reported it because they saw suspicious activity, people coming in and out and so on and so forth. It gets crazy. This is just the message here, guys. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. We're seeing that these, these people who think they're gods, almost like the Pope, like they think they're God chosen, right? They, they, they get corrupted by the power and they think that the rules don't apply to them and they can just govern with an iron fist, tell people what they can and can't do. We're seeing it more and more. We're seeing it with the mainstream media. We're seeing it with social media giants like Facebook and Twitter, YouTube, even censoring us. It's getting out of hand. These people think they're gods and that they have the right to tell us the way we can and can't live our lives. Stay tuned, guys. After this break, we will be back with more reports for the InfoWars Nightly News. We're selling a product, DNA Force, that is the very best nutraceutical that we can produce. Dr. Group, you took years for you to develop DNA Force for us. It's been something that I've been working on for a long time, Alex, because I think it's very, very important. What the aging process is, is when the cell replicates, we lose a little bit of our telomeres. Telomeres are the little cups on the end of our chromosomes. Basically. And when it runs that out, works. you start dying. We chose the PQQ because it has over 175 different clinical trials. It's one of the most effective substances in the world. It works like an antioxidant. It works to repair nerve growth factor. It's so this is a formula to deliver the maximum amount. It's in powder form. We have so many five-star reviews. I take this, this is this is the product that I take. InfoWarsLife.com and the profit we make, we fight the globals, we fight the new world order. Secure your DNA force today at InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888-253-3139. 